Hi y'all, it's Valerie here at Pisces Mountain Farm. And honestly, I just want, kinda wanted to take a little bit and check in and see how you guys were doing out there. I know for a lot of you, the garden seasoning is wrapping up. And it is for me as well too, though I still do have a lot of things that are producing and in bloom right now. Um, it's seed saving time. It's harvesting the last of the fruits and summer vegetables. I've been kind of missing in action lately because I've been really busy doing stuff around the farm. And as anyone knows who has ever recorded a YouTube video, it takes two to three times as long to do something when you've got to figure out where to film, get the lighting right, just be ready in general, lug your equipment around, set up the shot. And also, um, I've been working on my greenhouse, and um, that took some time. It took longer than expected because it's a project I couldn't do on my own, so I had to wait for help to be available, and that isn't necessarily something I have all the time available to me. And also, we went through a couple of... We went back and forth on how to do the foundation. At first, we were just going to level it. And then we decided it would be easier to put it up on a deck. So that's ultimately what we did. And so that took time. Also, I just really kind of needed to take a mental health break. There was a moment in time I was questioning if it was worth it. What am I doing? Why am I doing this? And I just kind of had to step back and reevaluate my reasoning. And honestly, it just basically came to, it makes me happy. That's why I'm doing this. Regardless of any other goals that I may have. Like someday I would love to make money off my farm. And someday I would love to be able to produce enough food to feed my family. And to share my abundance with others. But you know what? The thing that keeps me going more than anything else is that it makes me happy and that it's beautiful even in its chaos it's beautiful to me so that's kind of what I had to stay take a step back from I was starting to feel inadequate or like I wasn't reaching my goals quick enough and honestly I do it because I love it it makes me happy so I guess I will take you and show you what I've been working on. I'm working on a place to put my brassicas this is not going to be a permanent garden. I'm putting my brassicas in it this year. And um, next year it'll be completely different. But for the rest of this season, since it's available, that's where I'm going to put it. So Alright, now let's walk over there and show you where I got to. We've got the greenhouse mostly done. So now I'm going to work on this little area that I have tarped. And I think I'm going to plant my brassicas there instead of down where I was going to plant them. But I don't know. I'm going to clean it up first and then, then I will see. So we mulched, mulched this pathway, around the greenhouse, and around the side. And I'm going to go in and mulch these beds. And then I've still got all this stuff to either plant, or compost, or pot up to take I in the house. I hope you can hear me over the weed eating in the background, but this is what we got done yesterday. We got this pathway mulched, we got this weed eated. 
And right here, this is where I put my brassicas for this year. This is not going to be a permanent bed, but for now, I put brassicas in. They're probably a little late, but I put them in anyways. And so today I'm going to just mulch around my plants. All right, here's the after of what I just got mulched. I have probably too many broccolis and cabbages stuffed in here. But we're just going to see what happens anyways. <laughs> 